Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating The Sims 3 families and their homes in The Sims 4. So today we are recreating the Rainwright family. They live in Sunset Valley, of course, and their family description says... Susan and Boyd are techno geniuses who spend all of their available time with electronics. When their daughter Blair was a child, they bought every toy she asked for in the hopes that she would amuse herself and give them time for their hobbies. Now that Blair has moved out on her own, the Rainwrights are thinking of converting her old bedroom for their next big project. So this family consists of Boyd Rainwright and his wife Susan Rainwright and their daughter Blair Rainwright is not in this um, household but she is in Sunset Valley. She is part of the Roomies household if you're familiar with that. Um, I think I should, if everything goes according to plan, they should be the next um, family that I recreate on my channel because I did, you know, kind of want to keep the families together. So we're talking about the rain rights. I did want to, you know, talk about the parents and then introduce Blair and that roomies uh, recreation. So yeah, I never really played with the rain right families. Now I did play with the roomies a little bit, so I am familiar with Blair, but I just never really played with the rain rights. I think it was just because, um, they're, you know, older and they don't have a kid right away. But, you know, once I started researching the family and building their house and everything in The Sims 4, I was like, you know what? They're a pretty cool couple, I guess. And I love their house. I don't even, I honestly don't even think I ever entered that household at all. Um, but their house is really, really cool, and it was a lot of fun to recreate in The Sims 4. Um, that's one of the things that I love the most about this series that I'm doing, which I've said a million times. But the houses, they just take you outside of your usual bogs, out of the usual Pinterest floor plans, and it's just something so unique and uh, I just, I'm a fan. I really do love their house. But anyways, back to talking about them a little bit more. So, Boyd's biography states that he spends his day sitting at a messy desk, typing away at a computer. He spends his off days at home sitting in a messy living room, typing away at a computer. And he is, um, in the scientist career, he's a fertilizer analysis when you start the game. He is a computer whiz, genius, couch potato slob, and neurotic, and his lifetime wish is to become a creature robot cross breeder. And his wife, Susan, her biography states, the only thing that keeps Susan working such long hours is that she likes to... Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I can't read, y'all. She likes having expendable simoleons to spend on all her toys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and she is in the scientist career as well. She's a little bit further ahead than Boyd is. I believe she's a little bit more of a workaholic than he is. So she is um, a carnivorous plant tender. And her personality and traits is she's a computer whiz, genius, couch potato, snob, and a workaholic. So... Oh, and her um, lifetime wish is also to become a chess legend. So they're both like super smart. They're both geniuses. And I do believe that Blair inherited their genius trait. She is a genius as well. Even though I do believe she is in the law enforcement career in The Sims 3. Which, you know, we'll talk about her later. But yeah, I don't, they're really smart. They're obviously, you know, pretty successful. But they're lazy and kind of like slobbish. They're both couch potatoes. And uh, I find that interesting because I never, I, I tend to, when I play the game, I never give my Sims negative traits uh, just because I guess I'm trying to like create a realistic, uh, not realistic because that's actually unrealistic, but an idealistic, there you go, uh, personality of a Sim who has like the best traits that's going to help me in my gameplay. And if a slob is, you know, leaving their dishes around, that's just stressing me out. But like I said, it's realistic. So I really appreciate that. And it kind of just doesn't strike me that they would be slobs. Um, so yeah, or at least 
Okay, at least Boyd is a slob. They're both couch potatoes, so they're both pretty lazy. But yeah, um, they they're interesting. They're an interesting couple. They're both little nerds. I love it. I I ship it. <laughs> um, but according to their bio, they apparently didn't spend a lot of time parenting. I guess you would say Blair. They kind of just you know gave her stuff so they could focus on themselves and their hobbies. Um, which, you know, isn't really good. I'm not really sure what their relationship was like in The Sims 3. I didn't really look into it. Maybe I'll do that research when I introduce Blair and the Rumi's household later. But anyways, here we are building their house. And like I said, the floor plan is very unique, very different. Definitely not something I would probably ever find on Pinterest. Not something I could ever in a million years fathom to uh, create myself. But here it is. <laughs> and I did build it in Oasis Springs because it's uh, definitely a modern house and I went with the mid-century modern interior I used a ton of stuff that came with the get famous pack you know that mid-century modern furniture I love it <laughs> and I think it worked really nice with this house but yeah it's unique um, they do have two bedrooms I guess you could technically make it three if you wanted to but basically um, they have like an entry living room but then off the back towards um, or behind the kitchen or next to the kitchen they have a what would you call it um office area but it's quite big and their desk are in there i tried to make it look like you know they spend a lot of time in there you know it says they spend a lot of time with the computer typing away working messy desk so i tried to clutter their desk up make it look like they spend a lot of time there working at home when they're not at work i tried to give them a lot of activities activities that would help with their career but yeah they're in there a little bit nerdy and in the living room as well I did add a shelf um, and I tried to put you know some collectibles on there just because it did say that Susan likes to uh, spend her money on her little projects which I mean that's not really projects but I would imagine that she would collect those things and like bugs and sorts of stuff like that since she is in the uh, scientist career so yes um, but I think my favorite thing about their house is that they have the little it's, okay it's not really a backyard but you see it's um it reminds me of like a little zen garden. <laughs> I just think it's so different. I would never think to do that ever. So it's really cool. And once I go into the interior, I do put the little meditation pads that came with um, the spa. The spa pack? Yeah. The, yeah, the stuff pack for the spa, I believe. Yeah, the meditation little thingies. I did add that there just because it reminded me of like a little zen garden. And I feel like they would definitely be into that. <laughs> um, and then upstairs on top of their house, they have like... A little porch deck sunroof thing and I put some plants out there and yeah I don't know I just really like it it's different of course there's like a garage and we don't have cars and a lot of these houses obviously that I'm recreating the Sims 3 like I've said a million times they have garages or they have driveways and some houses you have to include it because it's a staple of the house and definitely this is one of those houses it just would not be the same without the driveway so that's one of the main reasons I built it on this slot just because it worked out nicely I was able to put you know the driveway and a car there and it looks just like the car could just drive right on up in there so it looks really good I really like it I hope you guys like it you know if you I always say this, but if you don't want to download the family, because I know some people are like, you know, you use too much custom content. I don't have time to go give them my own makeover. I just want to download them. That's fine, but I love this house. I will definitely be using this house probably outside of this family because it's so cool, so different, and so unique. And if you know me, you know I don't do a lot of modern builds just because I feel like I'm not very good at it. But, hey. This one's pretty dang good if you ask me. Um, but anyways, you guys, um, that's enough about the house for now. I'm sure I will get back into it and go into a little bit of details once we, you know, get further in. But this is a 25-minute voiceover pretty much. And I have been doing voiceovers all day because here's my dilemma. Which I've already kind of told you my situation with, like, being pregnant and not having a job. And then, you know, like, free time and stuff like that. <sighs> the only bad thing is, and it's honestly so freaking annoying. I live with my boyfriend, okay? And the internet here absolutely is awful. And I don't know, I hope you guys cannot hear. 
Uh, they hired somebody to come and do the uh, yard work today, and I hear them outside cutting grass. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to edit the um, background noise, so hopefully you can't hear that. But anyways, the internet here absolutely freaking sucks. And I don't understand why, because we're not out in the boondocks you know we're not in bfe we're not out in the country you know we, we are, we're in a neighborhood and the houses next to us have perfect wi-fi i believe they might have a different provider or a different plan or something um so their wi-fi works perfect but their wi-fi here sucks so bad so it is literally impossible for me to upload a video while I'm here. So I do my build in here, I do my voiceovers here, but I have to leave and go somewhere else to upload it. Um, because it takes like 20, it, it says like 23 days. I'm just kidding, I'm exaggerating. It's like 23 hours until your video is uploaded. And I'm like, hell no, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> so sometimes I'll go to my Nana's, you know, if I have, you know, to help her, if I have extra time, so I have extra time, I don't have a job, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, if I feel like getting out, basically, I'll go to her house, her internet's kind of slow too, takes a few hours, um, but I found a solution today, I was trying to upload a speed build, and, um, I was like, oh, okay, I can go to, like, Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or McDonald's or somewhere where there's free Wi-Fi, you know? I uh, don't really want to go in and bring my computer and everything. Uh, I just kind of want to sit in the parking lot and, like, <laughs> steal their, <laughs> steal their Wi-Fi. <laughs> and um, I was trying to do that, and it was still taking forever, I guess, because I was in the parking lot, and it wasn't picking up fully. Uh, but finally, I got the smart idea to turn on my hotspot, um, which I can't use my hotspot here at their house because I have Sprint, which Sprint gives me terrible service where I live. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have to connect to their Wi-Fi in order to use my phone. So, I already addressed the Wi-Fi situation. So, it's terrible. But, anyways, um, once I leave this neighborhood, leave the house, I have pretty good signal so I turned my hotspot on and it uploaded within like 15 minutes and I was like hallelujah so that is my struggle you guys <laughs> I'm trying to find time to you know maintain my channel and build and you know do my voiceovers when I have the time when nobody's here to listen to me because it's just I'm not into that like it's just I can't be myself when people are listening to me yet I'm just not there yet you know um so yeah it's just that's why I took a step back from doing like the let's plays and everything and um I'm just trying to upload without the pressure of being consistent because it's just not possible, possible, <laughs> what? It's not possible to be consistent right now, but, you know, I'm trying, and thank you guys so much for being so understanding. I definitely appreciate it, um, and being my, my friend, um, and loving me through this, this time right now, but anyways, uh, how are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing a good, um, I don't know what to talk about, you guys. Um, oh, I hate these voiceovers. It's just because I've been doing them all day today, and I'm just, what, what to talk about? I mean, honestly, what can we talk about? Um, I know in the last speed build, I talked a little bit about, like, university and what I wanted to see, <laughs> but, I mean, I've already talked about that, so, um, I don't know. Um... <laughs> All right, you know what? Here we go. I know what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do, you guys. I'm going to find some get-to-know-me questions or something, and I'm going to just answer them just to get, just to get, just to, ooh. Did y'all hear that? They're outside doing something. I think a rock just hit the window. That was scary. <laughs> anyways, y'all probably couldn't hear that, but anyways, I'm just rambling. So, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to answer some questions just so you guys can get to know me a little bit, and it just gives me something to talk about. So, um, these are all about your name, and, um, yeah, I don't, that's not a good one. Bear with me, you guys. Okay, we're just rambling. We're just, we're just going with the flow. Okay, here we go. Number one, are you a morning or a night person? Um, that just depends. Um, I don't know. I think I'm a morning person. But as when it comes to being a morning person, 
I do not like to be woken up. Do not come in there like, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Sometimes my boyfriend, he'll wake up early for work. And if he's like, wakes up in a good mood, he's like trying to wake me up. Because nine times out of ten, when he wakes up, I have to get up and go pee nowadays. You know, that pregnancy bladder. And I try to lay back down and go back to sleep. And he's like poking on me and trying to talk to me. And like, ooh, wake up. And it pisses me off. Puts me in the worst mood ever. Just leave me alone. So, um, I'm not a morning, pers morning person when it comes to that. That, but I can get up pretty early. I don't have a problem with like sleeping in. I'm not one of those people that like to sleep in. I don't like to waste my day away. I love to get up, have my coffee, and as soon as I get up on my terms, you know, and I have my coffee, I'm in a good mood. I'm ready to take on the day. Um, so I think I'm more of a morning person because of that reason. Um, when it comes to nighttime, I don't like to stay up too late. I get kind of grouchy sometimes. So, um, yeah. I, I think I think I'm definitely more of a morning person because I, I feel like I'm more grouchy at night when it's my bedtime and I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, but anyways, another question is, um, what are you what? Are you afraid of the dark? No. Um, well, <laughs> I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of what's in the dark. <laughs> Y'all feel me? I'm not afraid of the dark in my room I have to sleep with all the lights off and everything like that um but when it comes to being outside in the dark oh, oh hell no count me out I don't know who's out there there's some freaks nowadays some dangerous people I'm not into that so I mean I guess I'm kind of okay no I'm not afraid of the dark I'm just afraid of like the things that could be in the dark waiting for me if that makes sense are you an extrovert or an introvert um, I think I'm a little bit of both, and I know that's like a typical answer, but I, I really am. I have a lot of my mom and dad's personality mixed in. My mom's definitely an introvert. She's very shy, like very, very shy, and she does, it takes her a long time to open up to people. Um, but then my dad, on the other hand, doesn't meet a stranger. He'll talk your head off, and I'm a good mixture of both. Definitely not as shy as my mom. I'm not afraid to talk to a stranger, not afraid to like, you know, make conversation, but it's kind of at the same time when I'm in a crowded room with people that I'm not familiar with, I'm not the one that's going to go and be like, hey y'all, what's up? I'm Carissa. Hey, what's going on? You know, no, I'm going to sit there, you know, you can come talk to me and then I'll open up. But once I start opening up, I don't shut up. I do not shut up at all. I will talk your head off. I'm not shy. I uh, don't, you know, not shy at all. So, uh, a little bit of both, I guess you would say. It just takes me a little bit to open up. Um, are you double jointed? No, I'm not. <laughs> Definitely not. I don't crack my thumbs or hands or body parts or anything like that it kind of creeps me out so no definitely can't bend my body any shape or way <laughs> um but my thumbs are crooked that has nothing to do with double jointedness but i'm looking at my hands right now and um yeah they're crooked it's fun fact <laughs> um are you left or right handed i am right handed are you more of a tidy person or a messy person um, <laughs> I'm not a messy person, okay, I'm a tidy, I don't know, it's confusing, it's, I'm, I have to make these answers so complicated, don't I, okay, um, let's see, there's a difference between, between my tidy and other people's tidy, for example, um, my future mother-in-law, I'm living with her right now until the baby's born. Um, we're in the process of like purchasing land and probably building on it. Um, so right now we're living with her to save money. And she's very, and I mean very, tidy. Uh, she is a neat freak. She is OCD. She is a clean freak. Like it's, it's kind of crazy, um, which is good. Her house looks amazing all the time. It's so clean. And being here, living here, I've learned to clean up after myself a lot more because I know how she is. Um, but if it was my house and, <laughs> and I was living here by myself, I would not be as clean. And don't get me wrong, I don't like a messy house at all. I like the dishes put up. I don't like dishes in the sink. I don't like a bunch of clutter. I don't like clothes laying around. You know, I, I do like a clean house. But at the same time, if I walk away from 
okay, say I'm sitting on the chair or on the couch and I have a blanket and my computer and stuff or, you know, a blanket and I'm just chilling. If I step away and go to the bathroom, I come back and she has already folded the blanket up and put it back where it goes because she cannot stand it. <laughs> um, she's constantly walking by stuff, dusting and just rearranging stuff. So, yeah, I'm not that tidy, but I'm definitely not a messy person either, if that answers that question. I'm probably going to only answer um, a few more questions because this video is wrapping up. I'm just trying to waste time, you guys. Sometimes I can ramble on, but sometimes I just can't. And this is one of those videos where I just can't. So another question is, are you on time or always late? I'm on time if it's up to me because I am an impatient person and I don't like being late. I can't stand being late anywhere. Um, but <laughs> my boyfriend is kind of the opposite. He, uh, he doesn't really get in a hurry very often. So, um, it, it, uh, it aggravates me because I don't like being late. But, um, if I'm late, it's not because of me. It's because of somebody else. <laughs> um, are you ticklish? The only place I'm ticklish is the bottom of my feet. <laughs> I can't stand for somebody to touch my feet. But other than that, no, I'm not really a ticklish. But anyways, I'm going to stop there with the questions. I'm going to save that because I may need that later, you know. Sometimes I just, it's a struggle, you know. And today, like I said, it's a struggle. This is like my third voiceover. I'm over it at this point. But I got to make use of the time that I have. So anyways, I hope you have enjoyed the decor of the house. I think it turned out so nice. Probably, I don't know. I, I, I'm, every time I do this series, I'm like, oh, this is my new favorite house in this series. But, like, as of right now, this is my favorite house just because it's so different. Um, I love the mid-century modern theme of it. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I just think it's really, really cool. But, anyways, here I am doing the master of bedroom, which I had to cut out. I do remember. I did this a while ago, actually. But... I do remember that I had to cut out a lot, a lot of footage because I could not get the color scheme right. I couldn't figure out which bed I wanted. Sometimes I do that. I get to a room and I just cannot make it flow. But once I get that flow, um, it came together really nicely. And I, I think it's, it's really nice. I put a little seating area there just to, you know, take up a little bit of space. Use the big master walk-in closet, as I like to call it. And then for Blair's room, it said in the bio that they want to use it for their next big project. So, as far as her room goes, I did make it look like a teenager's room. Um, as far as, like, the color of the walls and the bedding. Um, she still has, like, a bookshelf in there, and she still has her desk. But I did put some, like, boxes and clutter items just to give the illusion that she has moved out. Maybe she hasn't gotten all her stuff, or this is stuff that she doesn't have room for at her new house. You know, or maybe her parents are just kind of, you know, packing up some of the stuff she left behind because they want to use this room for one of their new projects. So, yeah, I tried, tried, uh, tried to go for that, you know, illusion there. So, hopefully, y'all... Uh, appreciate what I did there but I think the room is so cute um yeah it's a lot of fun I just think that building these houses for these families that have a backstory it just makes it so much easier you know when you're decorating the house because you know who you're decorating it for you can add so much personality and yeah I just appreciate that so <laughs> Anyways, you guys, uh, my mouth is like so dry and I'm kind of hungry right now. It's time for my lunch. So, me and Cooper are hungry. So, I'm going to go get something to eat and I'm going to try to finish editing some things, you know, for next week. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. This house and the family is available for a download on the gallery. So, be sure to follow me on there and check that out. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Bye.
Send in the heart covered as a gift And I'll bet you